Happy Wednesday, everybody. I thought it was Thursday. It is only Wednesday. This is just an alarm. This is just a test. We are going to get out to the store for a little bit. We're going to see if Jessie wants anything for her birthday. I don't know. By the way, this is an authentic voodoo doll from New Orleans. We went to New Orleans a few months ago. Um, but anyway, we're going to go to the store. We're going to go to Home Depot. We're going to go to Bed Bath & Beyond. Pre pretty busy today. Pretty busy day in front of us. I, you know, I'm not sure if we're going to have time to do everything. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know why it always feels like there's this big black cloud hanging over me. We are outside the mall with optimal lighting. Half my face is whited out. And I'm blind. Mary's completely whited I'm out. I'm just white. <laughs> it's just fantastic. It's the best. Look at that. That improved. Now I, I have no chin. <laughs> that didn't do anything. And I'm still white. <laughs> um, today, lightning hat, by the way. What was that? Um... Chone lightning hat. Um, the other day, I told Mary that uh, on Saturday, you know, I obviously, if you watched the, the channel for a while, you know that I am a very big. If you watch, <laughs> that's what you sound. This is that type of day. <laughs> Sorry. So I was gonna say that's good because you get to see how she picks on me when the camera's not on. But you pick on us all the time. Um, I am a very big lightning fan, and the other day when. Uh, the you know obviously the season was over for for the NHL. I told Mary on Saturday that you know the Steven Stamkos sweepstakes was open where teams were going to start bidding for him. He had no contract. Um, people that watched the channel were tweeting at me like, "How does it feel that you're going to lose uh, Ben Bishop and Steven Stamkos or you know and so forth?" Um, obviously, um, I do not um, have a good poker face when it comes to sports. I get very upset very easily. Um, I literally sat there on Saturday and. Um, you know, Mary can attest to this that when I said that Snape Coast was leaving, I actually started to tear up. Mm -hmm. And she thinks that I'm a big idiot for these types of things. <laughs> so that's why she's going to keep this straight face. When Wayne Gretzky retired, on the Rangers, when Gretzky retired on the Rangers, um, does that help? No. no. <laughs> I literally was a bawling mess. And when we lived in Staten Island, and Mary made fun of me, like you're you're a freaking idiot for <laughs> it's a sport. I'm sorry, you, know? you, you don't so, really cry over stuff like that. I do, <laughs> but here's the news, because I know Mary hasn't heard this today, so now we can rejoice. Stamkos re-signed with the Lightning for eight years, sixty-eight Whoa. million dollars. Nice. He is not going anywhere. Woohoo! So I will be a very, very happy person, regardless of whether they win or lose. And this isn't a thing of me wanting the Lightning to win. I would love for them to win again. They've won since we've lived here. Um, but um, the fact is, I have grown very attached to certain sports figures. And if you didn't get that from the Victor Ola, the Ola Ola Depot, Depot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> message the other night, um, I get very upset when, when players that you've invested in in Florida sports decide that they're leaving um, on their own which like happened with Shaq and you know well, wait, wait, and wait 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 Dwight Howard well, usually and, and he things. buys their jersey yeah I have the kiss of death and they leave right after he buys the jersey yes so um, when we were cleaning the other day on Saturday at least um, all of Marty St. Louis stuff went in the trash <laughs> I held on to that stuff for the longest time hoping that maybe he would come back and uh, you know, he didn't. But um, in any event, Stamkos back. Um, I am over the top excited today. So we're gonna go to the mall. I'm gonna end up spending too much on Jesse because I'm in a good mood. <laughs> We didn't even see that bear in the store. You know why? Because we left early because you asked three times in a row as soon as we walked in the store if we needed help. I'm not going in there. Okay, I will sit on a bench. <laughs> iPhone video. In a bag. Hot topic! Well, that's pointing out the obvious. Ironically, this Donald Trump figure. Made in China. Very cool! What? I will be back in 10 minutes. That's a handy sign. Since those guys are shopping again, back at the massage chair. 
straight <laughs> and that's the phone i see a bag from route 21. oh it's all over oh, there's no more jiggling done. i can jiggle for you like this <laughs> it's last little kneading things are working into my shoulder blades <laughs> we can finally leave the mall In case you were wondering, the mall is open on Monday, the 4th of July, until 6 p.m. Who goes shopping on the 4th of July? Me. If you need to go shopping, you can go to the mall. Mm. Hey, we're back home. Now we're going to be in the shade. It's the opposite. Before we were getting blasted out by sun, and now we're going to sit in the dark. Mm -hmm. But Jesse had fresh jokes in the pun bucket. I have a bunny rabbit. Yeah, so that wasn't one of the jokes, though. I can wear it. There you go. Jokes from a rabbit. We're joined by Ooh. Sammy, mm -hmm. who also wants to look in the pun bucket. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, she's choosing a good one. All right, I think we searched through the bucket. We found one that she hasn't said yet. I wondered why the baseball was getting bigger. Then it hit me. <laughs> I think we might have said that one already. Yeah, man. Oh, Jesse needs new puns. Yeah. We need more. All right. I think we have a couple more. Oh, do I go? Yeah. <laughs> Once I heard a joke about amnesia, but I forgot how it goes. <laughs> this girl quit her job at the donut factory because she was fed up with the whole business. <laughs> A new type. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> a new type of room came out. It's sweeping the nation. <laughs> Eddie's a rabbit. Oh. Eddie has been insane lately with trying to get attention. Now he wants to kill the rabbit nose. Um, literally all day just howling and meowing for more attention. Then you give it to him and he wants to bite you. <laughs> I have a joke for you. Okay. I saw a beaver movie last night. It was the best damn movie I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> ah. Kyle's got jokes. All right, one last one from Jess. When Peter Pan punches, they never land. It's all in the delivery. Yeah. Oh, wait. I spaced out the words. That's why. They're not supposed to be like that. Career and comedy coming up. Eh. Right, I think we are going to call it quits and have a relatively short video for the night. You make fun of me and you say call it night. quits? Yes. Um, we are only a few hours away from Jessie hitting her monumental milestone of 16 years old. Yeah, two more hours. Yeah. Well, hour and a half. Amazing. Remarkable. Amazing. I like the way you said that. Well, you were born at 8.30 at night, so it's not an hour and a half. Oh, so like 22 hours away. You know what? <laughs> so by the way, just to, because I'm, I'm not sure how we'll talk about anything tomorrow, what we'll do, but um, when we, not when we, when Mary gave birth, there's <laughs> Mary and um, Barry. Gary. Barry? Barry. Barry. Yeah, yeah that's right, Barry. Barry. Yeah, the brother who's of Gary. Gary. Huh? Gary, the snow trooper, was from um, Robot Chicken. Robot Chicken. Um, so when Mary gave birth and to Jesse, um, it was we were heading into the 4th of July weekend, and um, the doctor that we were seeing the whole time was going on vacation, and he had his fill in or, or partner, partner, like back, back mm -hmm. up. Um, available but he was also going on vacation so he suggested at that point you know like you might as well try to go get um, induced induced so that uh, you're not dealing with like a resident or, or intern at the hospital so we went to the hospital we spent many hours when Mary got induced and what did we Sound do to kill drugs. time watch the Met game the Mets played the Braves that day is that drugs yes uh oh 
So um, the Mets played the Braves that day. We watched the entire game mm -hmm. along with the anesthesiologist, the nurse, the doctor. Well, the anesthesiologist left after yeah. a couple of minutes, but yeah, everybody okay. else. And it was a teaching hospital, so there were students coming in, you know, hanging out. So we got to watch the whole game. The Mets won. Yeah. How about the Marvels? Yeah. So there you are. But anyway. I'm on born on a winning streak. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh my God. On that note, thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for there your subscriptions. subscriptions. Treat, Treat others the way you want to be treated. Oh my God. <laughs> I was trying to make you laugh and I couldn't do it. <laughs> Too tired to laugh. <laughs> Why are you a cowboy now? Like, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great night, guys. And by the way, we are two days away from going to see Warp Tour, so we'll be doing some uh, vlogging while we're at Warp Tour on Saturday with um, Brady from all around Orlando vlogs from Brady and his uh, dad, Tim. So we're looking forward to that. Have a good night, everybody. You have failed me for the last time. <laughs> By the way, Mary Rooty Tooty. <laughs> we were filming that. <laughs> oh, man. TMI. What's she put it? Tooty Fruited. <laughs> Stinky mommy. I don't think you should put that on there. <laughs> <laughs>